Hello there tech enthusiasts, today we are delving into a fundamental topic in software deployment. The distinction between application packaging and repackaging. Imagine packaging as an art of crafting an organized reliable installation package from scratch. It's like building a house, starting with the foundation, which contains the application files, registry settings and other essential components. In this journey, specialized tools like Advanced Installer act as our architects, capturing the necessary ingredients and arranging them into a coherent format, such as an MSI. Repackaging comes into play when a pre-existing installation needs a makeover. Repackaging takes an installation package and modifies it, whether it's to update, customize or tailor it for a specific environment. Now, when we are talking about repackaging techniques, they are essentially two key methods, the transform and the snapshot. Using transform files, we can modify an existing package during installation without altering the original one. Think of it as your application's tailor suit. Special tools like Advanced Installer will help you craft these modifications. They cover changes to registry files and more. For example, we can open up Advanced Installer and navigate to the transform page. Here we can double click the MSI transform and advanced installer will ask for the base MSI for which the transform is going to be created. In our case, we are going to create a transform file for the MSI of VLC Media Player. Keep in mind, you can also download this on their website. Now, once that is provided, the project is opened. And now you can make the necessary changes that you desire and save the MST file. For example, you can change everything you want in the registry, you can add new files and folders, modify the shortcuts, uh, add additional custom actions or delete existing custom actions in the package and so forth and so on. Now, once everything is done, we can go and save the project. And I already have it here saved, but no worries, I can replace it. Advanced installer will build it and that's pretty much it. Now you can apply the transform during the installation and this is simple uh, because we are only using the right command line switch. Now remember we touched these topics in our first MSI packaging ebook but just to remind you, you can open up a CMD window and use the following command as you see on the screen. So what you have right here is the MSI exec slash I, which is the install, right? So install this MSI, please. But then you have transforms equals our current transform file. This is telling the uh, MSI exec service that we want to apply this transform file over the MSI. The slash QB parameter is to have it silent without any user input. That's pretty much it. Now, next, let's talk about snapshots. Now, imagine recording the changes while installing an application on a test machine or your own machine. Then using those changes to create a new package is like giving the application a fresh coat of paint. To use this snapshot method, it is recommended to have a test system set up, a virtual machine somewhere. I'm not going to do it in this case, this is just for demonstration purposes. Next, once you have that test system up and running, you need to install the application and capture the changes. These recorded changes become the basis of the new package ready to be customized and deployed. Now, for example, we can open up Advanced Repackager, open up the Advanced Repackager. We will unclick the session monitoring because the session monitoring is there only for you to capture uh, something else, right? You can also capture an installation, but its main purpose is to capture the system changes without providing any additional uh, installation files or executables. So click on capture setup and let us select our downloaded MSI file or actually let's go with file zero. Right, and as you can see, you have start local, start in sandbox. You can also start in a virtual machine, either being VMware, either being Hyper-V, and you can also start in Docker. Start locally here and just let it run through. Good, so repackaging holds a bunch of access off its sleeve. Now consistency is the name of the game. Repackaging ensures applications are installed uniformly across systems, minimizing the issues. Customization is another perk. 
you can modify an app to fit like a glove in a particular environment or according to unique needs of your customer. Scalability is on the menu too, because repackaging makes large-scale deployment a breeze while maintaining a control and a reliability. Repackaging in MSI format enables a uniform deployment using various tools like SCCM, group policies, Intune and so forth and so on. Repackaging also saves a lot of time and resources, constructing packages swiftly without accessing the original installation. But remember, it's not all roses. Some challenges include platform support limitations, no built-in rollback and limited UI, plus you'll need PowerShell 3.0 and higher for some methods. Speaking of PowerShell, let's enter the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit is a powerful framework for application deployment. It's a versatile tool for automation. PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit also offers EVC scripting, extensibility, application-specific functions, error handling, and more. Simply put, PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit simplifies the deployment of customizations without getting tangled in transforms or snapshot processes. But keep in mind its limitations. This is Windows exclusive, lacks rollback, and depends on PowerShell 3.0 or higher. This is not really a problem in modern days because with Windows 10 and Windows 11 you already have PowerShell 3.0 already installed in your machine. Now, structure-wise, PowerShell at its core is the deploy application.ps1. Script, files and functions are filled in the toolkit. For example, we can either double-click deploy application.exe which will launch our deploy application.ps1 or we can uh, run the PS1 installation. And as you can see, this is just an example that PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit provides to you and you can defer and continue with the installation. That's a wrap up on the saga of application packaging and repackaging. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time, keep crafting those seamless deployments.